When we saw John Cleland, uh, he signed an informed consent, being the first patient to go on a clinical trial with platinum combination chemotherapy. We knew the side effects of this drug. We had no idea about whether it would have a response uh, or whether he could even tolerate the therapy. And so it took a great deal of fortitude and courage to sign that consent form. And John said, maybe this won't help me, but maybe it will help others. I never dreamed that this type of therapy would have that type of result. You know, it's, it's the Neil Armstrong walk on the moon. You know, you do something like that once in your professional career. I mean, I think Dr. Einhorn has a lot of legacies. Because of him, hundreds and thousands of patients have been cured of a potentially deadly cancer, and that's a huge legacy. But in my opinion, an even bigger legacy is the hundreds and thousands of trainees and residents and fellows and students that he has taught over the years. He's had a great impact as far as how to be a compassionate physician, a true compassionate person with patients. And he's set the tone and set the culture for all of us here at IU. There is no place that I could have done the things I've done at any other institution other than in the university. We are doctors and we are healers and we're here to help people. We're in a different era than 50 years ago. We're not talking about making you live a few months later, but we're talking about actually curing your disease.